Hey guys, Fuzzy here. We had skeletons, skeletons and more skeletons spawn around the seas for more than 3 years. We also had sharks. As you know, with the Season 3 launch, Sea of Thieves introduced 3 new families of enemies to encounter, bringing more life to the seas. Ocean crawlers, sirens and phantoms. Their behavior is much different from anything we have seen, like healing and interacting with one another. There is much more to them than meets the eye. This video will explain their behaviors, what their animations mean, and how to deal with them properly, without getting zapped every two seconds. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before we start, all new mobs are not affected by having an Athena voyage down. If you did not know, the health of a normal skeleton is 50, requiring two sword hits to die. But if you had an Athena Voyage voted, their health will be tripled, requiring 6 hits to die. After testing, all this does not apply to the new Ocean Crawlers, Phantoms or Sirens. I will leave the Ocean Crawler family until the end, as they are much more complex than we can see. Now let's start with the simple ones. Phantoms, they share the same health as us, which is 100. They can teleport and charge, dealing significant damage. Like skeletons, they get affected by fire and one firebomb is more than enough to take them out. It also teleports them from one place to another. As far as tested, all phantoms spawning are the same level. There are no leaders or captains like the ones in the tall tale. Phantoms drop nothing on defeat and will provide you with a green flame of fate upon death. Sirens. They spawn underwater, but could attack above if you are nearby. For some reason, I could not get lots of them to spawn. Even though I spent so much time underwater, I became one of them. From the information collected, we have three types of sirens. The Siren Queen only exists as a part of a tall tale, so that does not count. In the adventure world, we have the Siren and the Siren Leader. It seemed like they both have the same health, which is 150, requiring six sword slashes to defeat. But the Leader has the Trident which offers more significant damage than the usual sound bubbles projected at you from sirens. Other than their melee attacks, you can shoot the bubbles fired at you with ranged weapons to stop it. But beware of their move. Once they heal, they are protected with an aura of damage similar to the mermaid statues. So make sure you have high health before approaching, or stay out of it and use range to stop them. As seen on each one's heart, the leader has a chance of dropping a green siren gem, and the normal one with a chance of blue. Now to the ocean crawlers, and they consist of three types. Electric, the crab, and the hermit. Exciting mechanics. The electric is a fascinating one, more like a high IQ enemy, charging bolts at you and gliding from one place to another to move. It can whip with the eel, and most importantly, it can shield its ocean crawler friends with an electric aura, causing a reaction charge back at you if you attack it while active. Once the bolt is in the air, you will have to avoid it or stop it before it's too close. Otherwise, it will damage you. But there's a trick. If you throw a blunderbomb at the electric from up close, it will hit you back. But if you throw a firebomb, it will disable the bolt without charging back at you, allowing you to continue with melee attacks. I believe the health of an electric is around 120. The reason is, it took three shots with a pistol to die when no bolt is present, but two shots when at least one of them had the bolt present on its eel. Therefore, if you shoot it from a distance with a bolt attached, it will damage itself in addition to your ranged damage. Adding another shot to it will cause it to die. Electric can give you two types of lights. Dying from anything, including the bolt charge, will provide you with a green light, but dying from the shock will give you the white flame of fate. In addition, as shown on its chest, it has a chance of dropping a blue siren gem. The Hermit can burrow underground, charge attack and spread poison to damage you. Similar to Electric, it appears that it can shield its friends with a toxic aura to damage you when up close, as shown here. I've seen it happen but didn't have time to get up close. To be fair, permits are a big mystery, and still is. Slicing it fast caused 4 hits to kill it, but doing that slowly caused 5 or even more to defeat it. So either it regenerates gradually like the mermaid statues, or maybe some hit registration issues at specific points with its animation. 
Or maybe, just like the random chance of dropping a gem, its health varies from one to another, between 100 to 150. Feel free to comment below if you can confirm any more about this one. Dying from its physical attacks provides you with a green light, but you'll get a purple flame of fate if you die from its poison. Of course, as shown, it has a chance of dropping a green siren gem. The Crab. This has more secrets than meets the eye. For example, I bet you did not know that it responds differently to damage than any other creature with its thick shell. So let's talk about its abilities. It can Hulk smash the ground dealing damage to everything around it except itself. It can also deal damage to its ocean crawler family members. When more than one ocean crawler is active, it usually rolls into itself, providing a coral shield to itself and its family. To attack them again, you will need to disable the source, which has about 100 health. Slicing it four times will disable it entirely from itself and its surroundings. Now here's the thing. It took around five sword slices to kill the crab, which is 125 health, but it also took five blunder bombs to kill it. Knowing that a blunder bomb deals 50 damage to the point of impact, three should be enough. So how can five slices be enough to remove 250 health? After further testing, it took five pistol shots to kill it but three sword lunges. With that, we know that melee attacks deal double the damage to the crab, so if a sword lunge is 60 damage to a normal enemy, but double to this crab, this means two lunges will cause 240 damage. With one extra third attack, it covers the 250 health. The crab drops the red siren gem upon defeat and only provides the green flame of fate. If there are any secrets I did not know or cover, please leave a comment below. Fuzzy here, have a good one.